The SEMrush keyword density feature is an extremely powerful tool that you can use to check the keyword density of the pages on your website to see not only how yours look, but also how they look to your top rivals. You can see how many times we're using these terms versus how many times our rivals are using these terms. There's a few that look like they probably need to be adjusted in this case. But let me show you how all this stuff works. So basically, well, if you don't have a SEMrush account already, I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up. You can start a trial, use all these different tools and everything. So make sure to check out that link. But once you get signed up, you'll be able to come into here under the SEO tab. Of course, you can expand and contract this. And you'll just click on the on-page SEO checker down here. It's under the on-page and tech SEO area. When you click on that, it'll show this whole checker. It's got a whole bunch of features and whatnot. But really, you just put your domain name in here. Click Get Ideas. You can just click continue, click crawl. You can set up this whole thing so that it like gives you reports each week. Um, but you can just click crawl. It's going to go through and crawl all of the pages on this website. Once that's done, of course, it's going to take a little bit depending on how large your website is. But once that's done, you'll see this uh, whole report for the on-page SEO checker, which is quite helpful. You can click into all these different um, things that need to be edited, but or that it thinks should be changed. But for the, for the point of this video, what we're going to do is show you how to check the SEMrush keyword density. And to do that, we first need to find the page. You can click view all pages if you want and see the pages that it crawls this uh i think we're going to look at this one and this one so you just click view ideas right here once that loads up it's going to look like this and we can see this is the home page and these are the keywords we're trying to rank for more or less we're using a bit more than our competitors so that used to be back in the day that you could just run by some set rules and get your keyword density to the point where it would be pretty effective but Google's using AI now to change its algorithms, and that is causing these um, keyword densities to be different for every website and every niche and every keyword, etc. Or I shouldn't say every website, but every keyword. What I mean by that is the keyword density, if you're trying to rank for this set of keywords, is going to be different if you're trying to rank for a completely different set of keywords, right? Now, in order to determine what your keyword density should be, the best thing to do usually is to check what the keyword density of the top ranked sites for these terms is currently, because if the top, if somebody's ranked at the very top of Google, then that means their keyword density is the way Google wants it to be, obviously, right? <laughs> so that's essentially what this tool, but it's, this tool is doing that for us automatically. So it's checking the keyword density of the competitors and then it's showing us what ours is. That way we can go through and uh, make some adjustments. So this is going to be for the body, for the title, and H1, meta descriptions, etc. And then there's like total usage, word usage on the page. And you can see we're using grill and grills a lot. It's telling us. <laughs> and there's just some further breakdowns here. Total keyword occurrences. So you can see how many times the keywords appear on the page. And then, of course, we could check another page and see right, that we're not using the keywords that we should be using at all in some cases. At least that's what this tool is thinking. So from here, we can start changing the content on our website, get in here, you know, add some keywords in here or there, wherever we see fit, until these numbers start to look in alignment with what the top-ranked competitors have going on on their websites. Once you're there, then you should be in a, you know, in, in the best position you can be in, technically speaking. You may need to adjust and play around with things from there, but that's pretty much it. So if there's anything you did have questions about in terms of keyword density or how to check it through SEMrush or anything like that, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to get back to them there.
If you're like most new business owners, you're probably struggling to get your online presence established, let alone get it to the point where it's bringing you a consistent flow of customers, right? So that's why I created this free course where I actually walk you step by step through the whole process of setting up your online presence. This is the same process we've been using for our clients for over a decade in one of my agencies. And essentially, I'm gonna show you how to set up an SEO-friendly business name right from the get-go, how to develop your website really quickly and easily, how to set up your Google Maps listing, start getting some Google reviews, everything you need in order to have a substantial online presence where people can actually start finding you and, and purchasing your products or services. <laughs> the best part is I'm going to show you how to do it in under a couple of hours and all for less than 50 bucks. If you're interested, I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up today. Make sure to check this course out for free right now because I'm probably going to start charging for this at some point in the future. All right, I'll see you on the other side.